Can you see a horrible image on the left side of your screen? Ads account restricted. You cannot use this account to run ads. If you are familiar with this issue, congratulations, you are in the right direction. In order to have a short or long term success on Facebook ads as a wise advertiser, it is your duty to comply with platform advertising policies. I highly recommend every advertiser to read and memorize all the ads policies during the strategy phase. Let's understand it with the health and fitness industry example. If you are running a gym, salon or health related business, your ads must not contain before and after images. Ad content must not imply or attempt to generate negative self perception in order to promote diet, weight loss or health related products. Let me show a visual example. Here you go. You can see a person in the image who is lifting his shirt and his body is zoomed out. So this is compliant. The picture on the right with the person's abs zoomed in is non-compliant. Let's take a look at the second example. The image with people running focuses on physical fitness and it is compliant. On the right side, the image implies weight loss and would be non-compliant if you used to promote a diet or weight loss product. Setting a realistic goal is connected with selecting the right marketing objective. In Facebook ads context, if you will set a wrong goal, you will never get the best results. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Let's say your advertisement goal is to send maximum possible users towards your website. In this case, you have to run your campaign on website clicks marketing objective. If you select any other marketing objective, your campaign will be optimized on that selection. When you initiate a campaign through ads manager, the second option which needs to be selected is setting up your marketing objective. Select the most relevant possible marketing objective from the options to achieve optimal results. Selecting the right target audience is the basic ingredient of a successful ad strategy. If an advertiser successfully selects the right audience at the very start of Facebook ads journey, then he can achieve long term success by exploring look alike audiences. Before creating your campaign, list down the areas which you want to target like age, gender, interest, education, job, relationship, income, location, job title and language. Once the target audience draft is created, it can be easily mapped on the ads manager. Trust me, available target options in ads dashboard are exceptionally good and relevant. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Suppose I want to promote my digital marketing training on Facebook, then how I will make a rough draft of buyer's persona. I will utilize customer data and my research to create a buyer's persona. Let's take a look at how I gonna do it. I will be targeting users from A between 21 to 50 genders will be both males and females interests of the users will be business owners social media marketing digital marketing and skill development education will be anyone who is keen to learn digital marketing job titles will be CEOs and digital marketing experts income will be thousand dollars plus language will be English once the buyer persona is created Advertisers have to navigate to the audience section to map their selection. Remember, Facebook will suggest a lot of relevant target options as well once you incorporate your list in the audience section. In the later part of this course, I will be sharing a winning strategy for selecting the best audience. Let's visualize that how this ad will be targeted to the final users. The ad will be shown to both males and females with age between 21 to 50 years who have interest in business, social media marketing and skill development with job titles of CEOs and digital marketing experts who are keen to learn and execute digital marketing strategies with monthly income of over $1000 and can speak and understand English language. This is how the targeting is done and with this example, you can easily create your buyer's persona for Facebook ads. After selecting the target audience, we will move to the budget area. Selecting the right budget 
with forecasted results is the best way to get started. Let me explain this with the same digital marketing training example. Before planning the budget, advertisers have to be very clear about what they want to achieve from their campaigns. Here, my goal is website conversions. I want the audience to purchase my training through the website. The best way to plan your budget is by doing proper costing and forecasting the results of your campaign through a self-created profit calculator. I have a monthly budget of $1000 which means $33.33 will be the daily budget if spent equally. The sale price of the offered digital marketing training is $35. I have set a target that I want to grab one sale in $1.15 or below by keeping the training sales price under consideration. In order to get estimated monthly sales, I will divide my monthly budget with estimated cost per sale. $1000 will be divided by $15 to get an estimated core sales count that will be 66.66. Merchant and operations are the two other costs which I need to consider to get per unit cost. Merchant cost is dollar two on every sale and operation cost is dollar three. By adding all three costs, add merchant and operation, I will come up with per unit cost that will be $20. Now I have all the forecasted sales and cost numbers and will plug the amounts in a forecasted profit calculator to analyze the return on investment. The sale price is $1.35 and I have projected that I will get 66.66 core sales from my monthly budget which is explained earlier. In order to get a monthly revenue number, multiply estimated sales with price. In this scenario, 66.66 will be multiplied with 35 to get total revenue that is $2333.33. The estimated per unit cost is $1.20 and expected sales count is 66.6. .6. By multiplying both values, I will come up with total cost that will be $1.333.33. Subtract revenue from total cost in order to calculate total profit which will be $1000.3. Dividing revenue by total cost will give you return on investment that is 1.75. And this is how you need to plan out your budget in order to achieve success. Remember, Facebook Ads Manager also calculates the ROI and web ROI. But in order to have accurate costing, you need to incorporate unit cost calculations for identifying the real value. I am also attaching Facebook Ads Profit Calculator file. If anyone has any ambiguity, please refer to the attached file for better understanding. In Facebook Ads, there is a section of budget and schedule. Advertisers can set daily budget, lifetime budget, or can even schedule the budget. Don't worry guys, I will slow down my pace when we will practically discuss these options in Facebook Ads Manager. Ad creation is the last and the most important area of Facebook ads success. The formula for creating a good ad is pretty simple and very straightforward. In order to create a winning and long lasting ad, advertisers have to focus on ad format, media, ad copy and call to action. The performance of ads can also be measured with Facebook ads diagnostic tool. Keeping an eye on competitors ad is the best and most economical way to set up your ad strategy. Navigate to Facebook ads library tool or use transparency tool option to check out the ads of your competitors. This will give you an idea of which ad format, which media type, text style and call to action should be utilized. Being a new advertiser, spying and analyzing competitors ad can save you hundred and thousand of dollars. Here you go. This is just an example of image media type. Use sharp and engaging colors with multiple variants to promote your product or service. I will share with you winning and long lasting ads ideas later in the practical section. Once the ad is initiated, the next job of an advertiser is to measure and optimize the campaign on the basis of data and available reporting options. Ad performance measurement is always an ongoing process. 
The measurement is linked with marketing objectives whether you are a new or an old advertiser. Campaign measurement and optimization tasks are applicable for everyone. Facebook ads reporting tools have tons of filters and data to measure campaign, ad set, ad and ad account performance. The Facebook ad success is highly highly dependent on continuous testing. Test, test and keep testing to find a winner. Test new audiences and look alike audiences. Test new ad formats and creatives. Run dynamic ads, run split testing ads. Once the winning audience and winning ad is identified, go for the scaling. Never stop the ad testing to avoid inconsistency. Here is an example of an image ad testing. The ad text copy is the same, but the ad image has a different design. After running both ads on a small testing budget, a winner can be easily spotted.